Dear students, in this session we will discuss about hold circuits. We have gone through the sampling theorem and the sampled signal or sampled version of the continuous time signals in the previous video. Now let us see the reconstruction of the sampled signals using the hold circuits. In the case of control systems, hold circuits are used in the process of analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion. In the case of analog to digital conversion process or ADC process, the hold circuit is used to hold the sample until the quantization and coding for the current sample is completed. That means the value of the signal is holded for some time. And this will be holded up to the quantization and the co coding of the current sample is completed. So that is the purpose of the hold circuit in the case of analog to digital conversion. Similarly, in the case of digital to analog conversion process, various types of hold circuits are used to convert the discrete time signals into analog signals. So, there are different types of hold circuit and the simplest hold circuit is the zero order hold or ZOH. That is zero order hold circuit. In zero order hold circuit, the signal is reconstructed such that the value of the reconstructed signal for a sampling period is same as the value of the last received sample. Let us see. Here, you can see the sampler and the hold circuit, zero order hold circuit block diagram. First, the, the signals will be sampled by using a sampler. So, you will be getting sampled version of the original continuous time signal. And that signal will be given to zero order hold circuit. So, that the signal will be reconstructed. Or original signal F of T can be obtained from this samples by using this zero order hold circuit. So, here is the illustration of the reconstruction process after the sampling process the fs of t signal will be like this that means we will be getting samples of the signals that means we will be getting the values of the signals at particular intervals so from these signals we want to construct the original signals so we are using this zoh signals once the signal is passing through this that means here if you are using a zero order um, hold circuit then its working is that the signal is reconstructed such that the value of the reconstructed signal for the sampling period is same as the value of the last received sample. Suppose if this sample is received, then this circuit will hold that value up to the sampling period. So that the value will be same up to this point. So the signal will be like this. Next received pulse says next sample will be having this value. So that value will be hold hold up to the next interval so that you will be getting a signal like this so this will contain higher frequency informations so this higher frequency component can be filtered out by using low pass filters basically the control system is a low pass filter so um, this higher frequency components is um, filtered out by various elements of the control systems so this is the basic working of the zero order uh, hold circuit so that's all about this hold circuit